All right, getting right into it, as you've already understood and already heard from a variety of places, political shows, your local news, articles on Google, uh, permanent alimony in Florida is now gone, done away with. And there are a number of other really significant changes you should be aware of. What I've done is gone through uh, SB 1416 in its current form as signed by the governor and approved by the legislature in order to pinpoint some of the most relevant changes that you may be curious about or have wanted to know about. And I'm going to read to you some of the language from the statute that has now been replaced in Florida with this new version, Florida's alimony statute, and I'm going to do my best to explain it. Of course, I'll be looking down my, at my computer screen so that way I can read some of the language for you. Let's go. Uh, now the court may consider in greater amounts or in greater detail the adultery of either spouse and the economic impact that may have had on the party's bank accounts or equitable financial position. Um, the court still must make written findings to determine the need for alimony in any forms or any combinations, the reasons the court is awarding alimony, the ability to pay that alimony from the payor, and why the court is specifying a certain length of time is also relevant. Uh, durational alimony is now the maximum alimony that one can receive in Florida, notwithstanding if somebody is disabled during the marriage. And durational alimony at its base may not um, be awarded for a marriage of less than three years. An award of durational alimony may not exceed 50% of the length of a short-term marriage. And a short-term marriage in Florida has now been changed to be 10 years or less. A durational alimony may not exceed 60% of the length of a moderate-term marriage, which in the state of Florida is now 10 to 20 years of marriage. And durational alimony may not exceed 75% of the length of a long-term marriage, which is now 20 years or more in Florida. The length of marriages has been changed. Um, there's a rebuttable presumption, which means it can be overcome through good explanations and the presentation of good evidence to the court uh, that those are the proper terms of each marriage uh, or the length of each marriage. That can be overcome. So nothing is completely 100% immutable. It's still a little bit static and there's still room for the district courts of appeal and the Florida Supreme Court to make specific findings and changes and create nuances within each one of these. Thank you.